Hey viewers. Hey Flowey. Hi. Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. Well, there is one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone's worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? Yep. That's right. I'm talking about you. You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Alphys, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline and sent back before all of this ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power. I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use. But now the idea of resetting everything. I... I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please, just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. But... If I can't change your mind... If you do end up erasing everything, you have to erase my memories, too. I'm sorry. You've heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? Well, that's all. See you later. Jane. Oh boy. Way to twist the knife, game. Okay, viewers. Okay, we can skip this intro. Yeah, we can skip the intro. So. Wasn't sure if I was going to do it or not. But... I think, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and do it. Hold on a second. This sounds really loud still. Okay. So. I, like I said, I wasn't sure I was going to do it. getting this creepy ass music going on here um, so yeah wasn't sure I was going to do it at first but I think for, well first of all I put up a poll asking about it and my view viewers, you 
unanimously voted yes on this. You sick bastards. Well, well, uh, that's okay. So am I for, for going ahead with it. Why am I going ahead with it? I think that's the question everybody who does the genocide path asks. And really, it comes down to a couple of things. Partially wanting to see... Curiosity's sake, I guess, wanting to see what happens if you if you go through the game just killing everybody rather than saving them. And partially... Partially for completeness' sake, really, it's... It's, it's really kind of brilliant the way they did this. If... There's this feeling of incompleteness if you just do, like, the neutral and pacifist paths. It's it's almost like you, you, you still gotta do the genocide path if you want the full experience of the game. And yet, they throw you a curve at the very end, which kind of throws a big wrench into that, which... Which, I'll get to that when we... We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but for now, without any more stalling, without any further ado, let's let the bad times roll. I kind of wonder if, if it's probably best to do this your first playthrough rather than rather than after doing the pacifist path, because at least then you're not as attached to the characters. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Well, not really. Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess the little Neil have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but it can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Um, I need an adult. Down here, love is shared through... Little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Okay, yay. Oh, yeah. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Oh, really? I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind, Flowey. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die. Now, if you remember when I did my pacifist playthrough, this this scene was missing. I think it's because I was a bastard in my first playthrough, and I did kill Flowey at the end of it. But okay, what a what a terrible creature torturing such a poor innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I'm Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass to this place every day to see if anyone's fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Okay, so I think once we get to a certain point, I think I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit. Children, so it's about filling you with determination. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Oh, Toriel. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to remove from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, 
both walk not the middle road. I think that's actually a bit of a, uh, I want to say like a, like a hint towards like the pacifist or genocide routes. To make progress here, you'll need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones you need to flip. Stay on target. Okay, for some reason, it's still doing that, that weird thing that happened to me an, another time where it wants to pull me to the, to the left for some reason. I don't know why, but... Let's just move on for right now. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You'll need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you'll enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Yeah, let's, let's talk. Something we didn't see before, but... That is how the fight mechanic works. Basically like a timed... Like a timed uh, system there. Ah, the dummies are not for fighting, they're for talking. We don't want to hurt anyone, do we? Do we? Come now. Oh, Torio, you are a horrible judge of character right now. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Yeah, I think we can. Yay, we got love for the first time. Toriel sits there silently judging me. Let's just move on. I'm probably gonna, like I said, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit since this part doesn't really, it's not really gonna change much until, until she leaves us on our own for the first time, so I'll see you in just a few minutes once we're past all this. Okay, welcome back. Here we are back at the, oh, whoops, ring ring. Hello, this is Torio. You've not left the room, have you? Uh... There are a few puzzles ahead that I've yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right. Um, no guarantees. Okay, so we've been left by ourselves, and now is where we start to get. This is really going to branch into the genocide path. You see, contrary to conventional RPG logic, there are a finite number of enemy encounters in each in each main area of the game. There's only a finite number of encounters. Your goal in a genocide path is to to eliminate every single one. So, it is very grindy in that regard. So, a lot of that, again, I'm probably going to be cutting. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. How disgusting. Ooh, piece of candy. You feel like the scum of the earth. Oh, just you wait. You think taking candy's gonna make me feel like shit? Just you wait. You took too much too fast. The candy spills onto the floor. Look at what you've done. Like I said, you think... You think taking candy's gonna be atrocious. You haven't seen anything yet. Guess I'm 
probably gonna exhaust most of the encounters here. One thing that also makes this tedious is that it's it's kind of it's sort of realistic in how the more enemies you kill, the fewer, the less frequent the encounters are going to become, simply because you're killing so many of them. Anyways, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. See you in just a few minutes. Here we go. But nobody came. Here's how we know we're on the genocide route now. We've murdered all the monsters in the area. And now this is what we get whenever we get into an encounter. And the music. Oh god, the music just gets replaced by this ambient droning. And then the messages of the save points. All they say is determination. Again, nobody came. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? The blood of the innocent. No, butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. Again. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Click. Okay. So the rest of this is going to be pretty uneventful, I think. I don't know if I should skip ahead or not. Okay, that worked out pretty good. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Huh? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? Oh, you need some more? Alrighty, how's this? No. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Move back, you dick. You want me to stay there? You give me a real workout. Oh, wow. You see, Nap Nap's the blue, because he said, Fuck this shit, I'm out. He doesn't even want any of this. Spire scroll down, give me a donut. Sure. Spire scroll down, give me a jug. Could probably use... Use a few healing items here. I'm not sure how much William coming up, but... Now notice, through this corridor, there were frogs here that would talk to us, but of course, they're not there since since we murdered them all. Ring, ring. Hello? I just realized it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I wasn't expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things laying about her right here and there. You can pick them up, but don't carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You want to leave room in your pockets for that? 
Yeah, yeah. If this was the hole we're supposed to go down. Yep. push the switch for that? Oops. Damn it. Okay, we still have to do this puzzle. I think it was, was behind the column. Yeah. Attacked by nothing a lot. Here it is. toy knife. And now here's the instance where we're actually going to be actually equipping the weapons we find. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How'd you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Not a scratch. Impressive. But still... I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible of me to try to surprise you like this. Uh... Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, Toriel. Toriel, you're a horrible judge of character! Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. An empty photo frame, it's really dusty. Box of kids' shoes and disparity of sizes. Aw, you found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. That's something different from before. Diary. Victoria's small chair. Its name is Cheriel. Typha, water sausages. Scandalous, sock drawer.
For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Light first stuck in the drain. Where are the knives? Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. The size of the pie intimidates you too much to eat it still. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Yeah, it kind of isn't. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What? This this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about the book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Nope. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. I have to do something. Stay here. Oh boy, I know what's coming up. This isn't going to be good at all. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Nope. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. Oh, God. And now comes... And now comes the worst part of this. Tutorial Attack 80 knows what's best for you. Well, that's... Well, that's really convenient, actually. Because I sure as hell don't. Holy shit! Wow! You, you really hate me that much. Now I see who I was protecting by keeping you here. Not you. But them. <laughs> oh god. You see how much damage we did with that. That's actually due to a hidden... I guess you could call it a hidden stat. That really only comes into play in a genocide path. I guess you could call it killing intent. Because that's basically what it is. It basically enables you to kill most... Most enemies in one hit, including bosses. It really makes a lot of the boss fights very one-sided. 
and not very interesting, but I think that's kind of the point, which I'll get into in, maybe in a little bit. <laughs> you're not really human, are you? No, you're empty inside, just like me. In fact, you're Jade, right? This is the first time they really refer to you by your... The, the name you give your character as opposed to... As opposed to last time. We're still inseparable after all these years. Listen. I have a plan to become all-powerful. Even more powerful than you and your stolen soul. Let's destroy everything in this wretched world. Everyone. Everything in these worthless memories. Let's turn them all to dust. That's a wonderful idea. Oh, wow. Okay, so, uh... Flowey's our buddy. Oh, but this is just getting started. I'll leave it off here. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm playing a game.